Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 101. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we're here for the Classy World Tour. I'm gonna try and crack on and get this all done so I can have food at 10 o'clock, because I'm hungry. Uh, classy World Tour, we're gonna be taking the Lance at Evo 10. Starting off with Sedona Raceway, Le Mans, Old Mulsane Circuit. Oh, this is gonna be a long one. Fuck's sake. Silverstone in 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 International, Maple Valley, New York, and then Mugello. Let's get going. Right, let's do this. The game... There we go. The game is taking fucking forever to load. But yeah, I'm actually disappointed because obviously yesterday, or the day before yesterday, M Sport announced that they're cancelling basically ending Craig Green's contract. Ah, fuck's sake. Yeah, so M Sport ended Craig Green's contract early because I I read somewhere he was supposed to do three, uh, two years, but he's only done one. Uh, obviously Craig Breen's heading back to Hyundai now, and he's going to be doing it with Danny Sordo, and they're sharing a car, which I'm, I'm disappointed about. I want to see Craig Breen in every rally, but I suppose having some rallies is okay. Bit disappointed though. But at least we do get to see some of Craig Breen, I guess. He's a, he's a funny guy, though. Like, he's, he's one of the characters of... Thingy. But what is pretty cool, S. Pekalapi... Um... He's got a full-time drive next year. Granted, it's not with Toyota, unfortunately. But he's got a full-time drive. That's the one thing I'm... So, it does seem... That... We're only going to have nine drivers for the next season. Like, nine WRC cars, which I'd, I would have liked a couple more, to be honest. I would have liked to be able to have, like, a grid of, like, 15 drivers. More drivers is always better. More cars to watch, always better. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've stopped playing the F1 games for the sole fact that it isn't, like, as exciting. No, it's not 20 drivers. It's, however, like, there's no limit to the drivers. I, th I think in Formula 1 they have to have, like, two drivers per team. And then it can be as many teams as you want, but nobody seems to want to make their own Formula 1 team anymore. They just want to buy out other teams. So, we're sort of stuck with the 10 teams for quite some time. I don't think we're going to go away from the 20 cars in Formula 1 for a while. We might go down to 18 cars in Formula 1, but... Uh, Mazepin said he was going to do some rallying, but he he's not in WRC and he's not in European Rally Championship either. I think he's just having to stick with like a local Russian rally or something like that. Um... But yeah. So far, the only drivers that are confirmed are um, Calais Rob Robinpera is driving for Toyota. Um, Elvin Evans is driving for Toyota, and then Takamoto Katsuta is driving for Toyota as well. 
but he's going to be driving all of the rallies, but he, only half of them he's going to be under the Toyota team um, to try and score points for Toyota. The other half are going to be um, Sebastian Ogier trying to score points for Toyota. But on all the ones that Seb Ogier is driving for Toyota, Takamoto Katsuta will still drive under a different Toyota team. So it's really, really strange what they're doing. But I think it's good because that means Taka gets a chance to sort of be part of the main team while also still getting the experience to drive every rally. So I I'm happy for that. Um, but it is a shame because that means there isn't really a th extra driver for uh, Toyota. Then Hyundai's got Thierry Neuville. Um, yeah, Hyundai's got Thierry and then Essa Pekka Lappi as full-time drivers. And then the third car is being shared between Danny Sordo and Craig Breen. Which means Oit Tanak's obviously not in Hyundai. That was announced a while ago. I don't see why he wouldn't be in M Sport. Obviously, M Sport's probably going to announce their driver lineup tomorrow. Or maybe tonight. They might have already done it and I haven't seen it yet. I think Oit Tanak is going to be in M Sport. I don't see why they wouldn't have Tanak. Oliver Solberg, so he was in Hyundai, but Hyundai terminated his contract. They didn't want him. So Solberg at the moment doesn't have a drive. But here's the thing. So obviously you have Adrian Formo. Who are the M Sport boys? So you've got Gus Greensmith. Craig Breen. Craig Breen's already been confirmed to go to Hyundai, so we don't really need to discuss him. Uh, Pierre-Louis Lugler and Adrian Formo. Those are the four M Sport boys. So you got to think, if they're doing four drivers for next year, they've got to have... It all depends where Gus Greensmith goes. I mean, if they've ended Craig Breen's contract and he was one of the M Sports better drivers, even though he crashed a lot, he was one of M Sports betters. I don't see Gus Greensmith getting a seat next year. I really don't see Gus getting a seat. Uh, as for... I mean, he might do because they might want an English driver. Then I think Pierre-Louis Lubert might get a seat. I, I don't see Formo getting a seat, though. I, I'll be surprised if Formo gets a seat, because he hasn't had a great season, to be perfectly honest. But then again, half of it isn't his fault either. So, I don't know. Uh, as for Oliver Solberg, I would love to see him in an M-Sport. I mean, Ford is... I don't know. I think it's just wishes more than anything. Like, I want to see Solberg get a seat next year. Because of the fact that Petter Solberg was also in WRC, I think it's quite nice to see his kid in WRC. At the same time, I, I think he might get just a full year in uh, WRC too. And then maybe for 2024 might come back. And do Rally 1 again. Do the full WRC season. But again. It's just. I don't know. I am as clueless as anyone else is in this situation. But yeah. Sol Oliver Solberg hasn't been announced yet. There, there is the potential Oliver Solberg moves to Rallycross. But um. Solberg did a. A cracking job, I think, in 
Uh, what, it was like a Finnish rally, I think, or something. But he did an amazing job. He took a... I, I'm not sure whether it was a Rally 1 or a Rally 2 car. But he drove and won the rally, so... Maybe he might... That might convince M Sport to give him a seat next year. But I think it is just half us hoping. It, it would make me happy to see Solberg next year in the seat, but... I really don't know if, if M Sport can get both... The thing is, I don't think both Formo and uh, Pierre-Louis, Adrian and Pierre-Louis, are not going to both be driving for M-Sport next year. I really can't see that happening. It's, it's going to be one or the other. I don't think they're going to take up two seats. Or they might take up two seats, but they're both driving a third car. So they're sharing a car. I don't think they'd have a car of their own. Uh, and if they are having a car of their own, it's only going to be one of them in there. That that could be the only thing that would save Oliver Sol Solberg, is if he's sharing a car. Because last year, obviously he, it was um, Danny Sordo and Oliver Solberg sharing a car. But the last few rallies was all just... Danny Sordo driving. So potentially Solberg could get a, uh, what's it called? I mean Solberg got a four was it a fourth or a fifth place last year? He got a really good result in one of his rallies in WRC. Honestly, when he got that result, I was fucking chuffed. Because he put so much effort into it to get a decent result. He didn't get a podium. But he got a fucking cracking result out of it. I can't remember which rally it was, but... I think it was after. It might have been the Greek one. I think it was the Greek rally. It was the one after his big crash that he had on, like, the first corner. He had a huge crash on the first corner, and it just completely ruined his... Um pretty much ruined his rally. Oh, riot. I will actually check M Sport. M Sport's Twitter to see if they've announced anything. Because uh, Toyota and Hyundai pretty much announced theirs all in the same day. Where, when is the Monte Carlo deadline for the entry list? It can't be that far away. They must have to do it at least a month beforehand. So, maybe that's why Toyota and Hyundai are announcing theirs now. I'll have a look after this race and see if uh, M Sports posted anything. Because uh, at the moment, obviously, M Sport is the only team, only other team. There's only three teams in uh, WRC at the moment. I would like to see Volkswagen make their way back up into uh, WRC, like Rally One cars. I, th I don't think Volkswagen I even is in WRC two at the moment. No, they definitely are. They are, I'm just being an idiot. But, no, I think they need to... I think Volkswagen needs to come back to WRC. Have a fourth team. Have Volkswagen in... Because, obviously, the VW Polo, Skoda Fabia, Audi, whatever, they're all the same car underneath. So, by all means, they can have Volkswagen in... Um... Or Audi in Rally 1, Volkswagen in Rally 2, along with Skoda. Audi would have the heritage of WRC. But even if VW wants to be the main name, have VW along with Audi and Skoda in Rally 2. Bring them back. Please. 
Volkswagen, please. Oh, I really might just buy that. Ford Puma Scale Electrics car. So cool. The pre-orders are available, but I they obviously ship in autumn 2023. That's what it said. I wonder when um they're actually gonna reveal the cars for next year. Because I assume Ford is going to stick with Puma for next year. But I swear Hyundai has a new design for their cars. So I assume Hyundai might have a slightly different looking car for next year. And I think Toyota is also looking at messing around with a new car. Potentially for 2024. Like a new model of Yaris. So, I don't know. Come on, little Mitsubishi. Fucking hell, that was so slow and tedious. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully by next Monday, uh, M Sport will have announced who they're taking. I, if I was to pick four drivers, have like two drivers and a shared car, I would like to see Oit Tanak, obviously, as like a full season full-time drive um the second car i'd probably say well they got rid of craig breen so that would have been my second full-time drive from them but i don't think so i, I really don't know who they go for for that second full-time drive but i'd probably say I want to say Gus Greensmith, and then I think Pierre Louis and Oliver Solberg to share a car. That's what I want to see happen. I would like to see M Sport do that. Um, whether that happens or not is another question. Ooh. I'm very much excited for, um, what's it called? WRC 23 is going to be fun. I, I'm telling you now, though, if the next dirt, like, obviously, the next WRC game is pretty much Dirt Rally 3.0. If that game doesn't come with VR, if, if the next WRC game doesn't come with VR support, I'm not buying it. So, Codemasters, this is your pre-warning. If you don't add VR... To the next WRC game. I ain't buying it. I ain't buying shit. I'll buy it for like a fiver. 
when it goes really on sale. Like, that's the most I'll give you. Pretty on the outside. So pretty on the outside. So uh, officially, I do own pretty much every WRC game. In fact, I know I do. WRC 1 through to 10. Generations. And that Power Slide one, the one off game. That's going to be fun to do. Power Slide is only going to be like eight episodes when it comes to it, but that's going to be fun to just piss about with. I might even get like a collaboration going on for that game when I do it. Because it is like a multiplayer game. I might get some mates to piss about on it with. <laughs> Pretty on the outside. Whoa. Oh my god, it's so slow. These first two races have been really long. I'm really hoping the the last few are going to be much, much shorter. Because these have been ridiculously longer than they should have been. Oh shit, I've hit the wall. Oh dear. I'm going to put um, notifications on M Sports Twitter. I need to put more notifications on more stuff for Twitter. So I can, like, actually get notified when shit happens. Sexy beast. Out behind, 15 seconds. Whoop. Whoop, whoop.
We've got four more races after this one. Look, we're at the 10 minute mark and we've only just started this lap. Like these first two races have been ridiculously long. Forza, I expect you to put out a patch to update them. They're too long. There we go, we got that perfect. V power diesel. Crap. Epic Games hasn't sent an update. Hey, well, uh, Goat Simulator 3 is out, and if you buy it before September 29th, 2023. That seems a bit. Oh no, yeah, 2023. You get a goat outfit in Fortnite. <laughs> so buy it and use my creator code, please. <laughs> Out for the fuck's sake, man. Living your life on the edge of a knife. All right, is that race done? Fuck yeah. Result. I expect to be like level 5 at this point, the amount of racing I've done with this. I'm on level 4, no problem. We now have a 40% discount on valves and displacement upgrades by Rally Art. Alright, here we go. It is time! We haven't had Silverstone in a while. Which is kind of good. Really, I'm not a fan of Silverstone. I realise how, like every, everyone raves about Silverstone, but I really think it's a bit of a mediocre track. It's a bit sad and depressing. <laughs> this world forever. Don't 
dun 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 I'm still gutted that they changed the Silverstone logo. I think they changed it a couple of... Well, when did they change it? A couple of years ago? Because Silverstone's always had... Where, where's the building? I saw it a second ago. That logo. There. It's like a really tall building. That just had the Silverstone logo on the side. <laughs> we know. All my life I've been searching for something Something never comes, never leads to nothing This is 141 per lap, but we've got eight laps. Which, if we work it out. It's still going to take about 12 to 13 minutes. This should have had seven laps on this track. I'm surprised that M Sport hasn't announced their driver lineup the same day as everyone else did. Maybe they haven't got their driver lineup ready. Uh, let's have a look. What? Okay. Get back on the track, you prick. What is the entry fuck deadline? Uh! It's a really bad idea to try multitask while I'm doing this. Four. Oh my god. This thing undersea is like a bitch sometimes. I did look at that Lotus and was thinking I should take that, but I, I chose not to. Right, we gotta catch up with this, um... Evora. Right, let's have a look. A little bit of contact there. It doesn't actually say. I've searched up when is the deadline for Rally Monte Carlo. It doesn't say what the entry deadline is, so...
Because they obviously have to announce their driver lineup before the entry deadline. Because otherwise they'll just do their entry and they won't have done their announcement and they won't get the hype and all that that they want. So... Might just be waiting to announce it tomorrow, to be honest. If they announce it tomorrow, I'll be pissed, though. Because I've been waiting for it. I'm very excited for it. And if it happens when I'm not, like, streaming and going to discuss about it, it means i got to sit on it for a couple of days before I discuss it. Ugh. I just realised this is episode 101 as well. 101 videos. Oh, I gotta do some fucking voice lines tomorrow. Today is episode number 101. Today is episode number 102. Today is episode number 103. Today is episode number 104. Today is episode number 105. That's literally what it sounds like, by the way, when I record it. Like, it's just straight up. Just me, one after the other. Shotgun, shotgun, shotgun. How did that class that as going off the track? It's a dope game. Really enjoying these bullet from the side songs. Is this one of their new ones as well? Yes. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. There we go. Not bad. Death by a thousand cuts. What what a song name. This international circuit doesn't actually exist anymore. Because they basically got rid of that road on the inside. Made the GP route. They've kept the old school route. The new route. And then they also have the international which is on the left half. And the national which is on the right half. Or this half that we're on now. Before, you could only have, like, the International was basically the extended bit of this one. So you couldn't really have two races running on Silverstone at the same time. Now you can. Well, as of 2013. So. Oh, do you know what? Imagine if they reworked Silverstone for next year. Did a redesign of the layout. It's been 10 years since the redesign. Let's do it again. Imagine that. That'd be awesome. I wonder when they're actually going to announce the um, next year's rallies for 2023. Have they even announced the calendar for 2023 yet?
Because I think next year we're going to end up with... We're going to end up with the rallies, obviously. Probably going to end up with... At least 12, I should hope. I'd like for there to be more rallies, because before there was quite a few more state like rallies. I think they had like 16 or something before. So add some me. I know that Codemasters has an absolute task ahead of them. Because they might already know what rallies are going to be in WRC next year. But I, d I doubt Codemasters will do what um, Generations has done, where they've just put all of the stages in. Even rallies that haven't been in last season. I doubt that um, WRC 23 is going to have any stages that don't exist. Like, they'll probably do, like, all of the rallies of 2023, make sure they're all done. And then for 2024, they'll make all the new ones, but get rid of the old ones. If there is any change between rallies, between years. The only thing I do hope, if they do have new rallies, that they change at least two of the old ones and like add two, if they're adding two. Like they need to, they need to vary stages. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.